Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from The Francophile. It is Jalen and Maria and we hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we're going to be giving you five French language book recommendations. As French majors at college, we read a lot of French language books and we picked five to talk about today. Even though we read these books in French and that's what we're recommending, they're really great stories in general. So it's totally cool to read them in English or whatever your native language is if you're not comfortable reading them in French yet. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We do have Twitter, Instagram, and our website. And uh, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So our first book that we're going to be recommending is La Chute by Albert Camus. So La Chute means the fall and uh, this is a great book. It follows the main character whose name is Jean-Baptiste Clémence and he is basically telling his life to another individual, his life as a defense lawyer in Paris. And so during this story, we only hear what Jean-Baptiste Clémence has to say. So in effect, it's a monologue, it's a long monologue. We would recommend this book to anyone who is philosophically minded because Albert Camus was a philosopher. Yeah, this is one of my favorite books that we read in our class on good and evil. So it's a really interesting read. Our second recommendation is a 1747 novel called Lettre d'une Peruvienne by Françoise de Grappigny. In English, it's called Letters from a Peruvian Woman, and it follows the main character, Zilia, and she is an Incan princess who is abducted during the Spanish conquest and taken into French society. So we sort of follow her through the letters that she writes to her Incan fiance. And we read it in our class uh, called Women and Gender in Society. And this book was one of the most popular works of the 18th century. And what I really like about it is that it was written about a woman by a woman. For our third novel, we are going to be recommending W ou Le Souvenir d'Enfance by Georges Perec. Uh, the English title of this book is W or the Memories of Childhood. Um, this book was published in 1975 and probably one of my favorite books that I read throughout all of my French major in college. Um, it is a story about memory. So the main character is basically telling two stories at the same time. It alternates between chapters. It falls into semi autobiographical novels. And it basically is talking about his experience being evacuated during World War II. And one thing I like about it as well is that it plays with the idea of memory. And so he's telling a story, but based on memories and photos that he has, and you can't really tell like what is true and what's not. And I believe that we also read this in our class on good and evil. So uh, yeah, we would definitely recommend Double Day with Souvenir of France. Our fourth book recommendation is a 1998 fiction novel by Gaëtan Soucy called La Petite Fille qui aimait trop les allumettes. In English, that means the little girl who is too fond of matches. It is a very unique story. Um, it's actually written by a Quebecois author. It follows two siblings who have grown up really isolated and a big event happens that makes them go into town and you sort of find out that nothing about their childhood was normal at all. Um, definitely not for the faint of heart, but extremely thought-provoking and odd and unique. Um, definitely one of the books that we couldn't stop talking about after we read it. Um, I think we also read this book in our Good and Evil class. Yeah, and then we watched the movie adaptation of it in our Quebecois Literature and Culture class. That's right. So yeah, really good, really good book and good movie as well. So for our last novel recommendation, we have L'Enfant de Sable by Tahar Benjouloun. 
the English title of this book is The Sand Child, and Tarek Ben Jaloun is a Moroccan author. This book was published in 1985 in France, and it's a compelling read. Um, we say that because it talks about it's, it's multi-layered and it talks about a lot of things, but some of the main themes are post-colonialism in Morocco, as well as the treatment and position of women in society in Morocco. And the author approaches these topics in a unique way by um, talking about gender and identity. That is probably one of the reasons that we read it in our Women and Gender in Society class. And uh, yeah, it's a great book. So those are the five books that we have recommended to you. We will definitely put them down in the description below so that you can click on them and possibly buy them if you're interested. We hope that we've given you something new to consider reading. Some of them are classics like Let's Put in Peruvian and yeah. La Chute. Yeah, La Chute's a classic. Um, but the others, I think, are less well-known, at least they were to us, mm -hmm. and you might not encounter them in all French language programs, even at yeah. a university level. Or bookstores or yeah. whatever. So yeah, those are the recommendations. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment down below letting us know which one of these books you would like to read. And tell us also some of your French language book recommendations. Other than that, um, I think that's all we have for you. We will see you guys in two weeks. Bye. Bye.